A debate is a structured argument between two teams. The team that agrees with the topic is called the affirmative team, and the team that disagrees is called the negative team. Debating isn't a new idea. It's dated back to ancient Greece, where people would stand up on podiums and talk about philosophy. And now we see debating everywhere. We see it in the media, we see it with our politicians, and even down to arguments between parents and their children. The most common type of formal debating happens in schools. This can take shape from year three all the way up into year 12 in both social and competitive contexts. So there are multiple types of debates. The most common one is what is known as a policy debate. And you can tell that it's a policy debate by the word should in the topic. So a policy debate involves the affirmative team providing us with a policy to change the present situation, also known as the status quo. So another type of debate is comparative debates. And a comparative debate puts one thing in comparison to another. Take for example, that cats are better than dogs. The affirmative team would have to argue the characteristics of cats are more beneficial than the characteristics of dogs, while the negative team would have to argue that the characteristics of dogs are more beneficial than the characteristics of cats. Another type of debate is metaphorical, and that generally involves the topic being one of an idiom or a saying. Take for example, that the carrot is better than the stick. The way to approach a metaphorical topic is to look at the topic in its relevant context. We're not talking about the carrot being a vegetable and the stick being a stick and making a comparison there. Instead, we're saying that certain incentives and certain motivations should be put towards certain groups of people in society.